My name is Flash Isaac and I'm a teacher from the future. When I was much younger, I saw thousands and thousands of people fail jam and unable to gain admission. This made me travel in time. Now I am back with a Flash Letter Jam app and a series on YouTube tagged 120 Days Jam. My mission is to help you blast jam and as well get justice for everyone who jam has served breakfast. Hello guys, I am Flash Isaac and you are welcome to episode number 57 of the 120 Days to Jam Physics with Flash Isaac. In the last three episodes, we did a lot when it comes to light waves and mirrors. We did a lot of studies. We talked about images from the mirror being as a result of reflection. We talked about the various type of images that are formed by mirrors. We said they can be real, they can be virtual. We discussed classification of mirrors, being plain mirrors and curved mirrors. The curved mirrors are also referred to as spherical mirrors and they can be concave or convex. We did so much and so much and so much. And I explained something. I said if this is a sphere, like this, if we divide this into two, this is basically the center of the sphere. So this will give us one part and this will give us the other part. For the other part, the whole is what is facing us. So if that is the reflective part or the mirror part, we say this is the concave part or converging part. Then here, if this part is the mirror part, we say this is convex. In both cases, this is the radius. Sorry, this is the center. And we say this is center of curvature. And when you cut here, you have the end here. And I told you that this is the pole. Then from here to here is the radius. Of curvature. Curvature. Then I told you at the middle here, the center here is the focus. So the focus is basically the center of curvature divided by two. And in the previous episode discussing images formed by mirrors, I told you that. The type of image formed by a concave mirror is based on the position of the object. If you place the object behind the center of curvature or at the focus or wherever, that will determine the type of image and the nature of image. Even though concave mirrors characteristically or generally form real images, there is a case where the image will not be real. So that should be when the object is between the focus and the pole. We discuss that and much more. And I told you that the distance between this focus and the pole is called the focal length or the focus length. So these are parts of the mirror. Ladies and gentlemen, in mirrors, there are times where you would have to calculate the focal length which is the length of the focus. There are times where you need to calculate the image distance. There are times where you need to calculate the object distance. So these are basically the things you'll be required to look for when it comes to mirror formula. And the mirror formula is simple. 1 over f is equals 1 over u plus 1 over v. That is the mirror formula. 1 over f is equals 1 over u plus 1 over v. What is f? The focal length. What is u? The object distance. And what is v? The image distance. You can interchange this. You can say 1 over f is equals 1 over v plus 1 over u. It is mathematics. It doesn't change it. So let's go do it this way. The mirror formula is 
1 over f is equals 1 over u plus 1 over v where f is the focal length u is the object distance and v is the image distance but the simplified mirror formula from here making the focal length subject formula is f is equals uv over u plus v so if you are given any question on that mirror i will advise you to use this formula it is the same thing as this this is a simpler one or we make f subject formula to make calculations easy so you don't make mistakes there or forget to invert what am i saying in essence the mirror formula is 1 over f is equals 1 over u plus 1 over v simplify to be f is equals uv all over u plus v please there are many formulas around flying around not that they are wrong but don't get your brain messed up with too much formula or whatever with these two things you are good to go so any of them you are not given you can substitute the ones you are given and make the other one subject formula so your life will be straightforward you don't need to cram each formula for each case these two are enough in fact this one is even okay for you this takes us to magnification what is magnification ladies and gentlemen don't mind me i'm not blind so this um blu-ray filter if you are constantly exposed to screen it's good for you to get anti glare glass or blu-ray glass it produces the effect of rays entering your eyes i record on a very bright light bright environment so and i'm always on the screen so to an extent it affects my eye so i just try to use it to reduce the effect of the rays magnification i told you that for play mirrors the object size is the same thing as the image size it does not produce a large image or it does not produce a diminished or smaller image meanwhile concave or even for converse as the object draws closer the image can get bigger and for concave there are cases where it can magnify image it can magnify objects rather what does that mean if you have something like this and this is a mirror the mirror can make this to become this what does it mean it has magnified it it has made it bigger if you have something like this there is a case where a mirror can make it like this what does that mean the image is diminished or it has made the image smaller in this case magnification is negative because the image Produce is smaller than the object. In this case, magnification is positive because the image produced is bigger than the object. It is enlarged. So how do we know the extent, extent to which the image is different from object? That is where magnification comes in. And magnification is very simple. The formula is magnification m is equals image distance over object distance. That is it magnification is equals image distance over object distance and it is also equals image height over object height so if you are calculating magnification you can say m is equals v over u you can as well say that m is equals ih over oh so if m is equals this and m is also equals this it means this is equals this so Image distance over object distance is the same thing as image height over object height. There are cases where you have the image distance, you have the object distance, you have the object height. You have to look for the image height or one of them is missing as the case may be. You have to look for the other. So all this formula will come very, very handy. Then the next is for virtual or erect images, the image distance is negative. So mirrors can produce real images or virtual images. So if the image produced is virtual, when you hear virtual image, just say V is equals negative. If you are told that the image distance is 30, before you stand, the mirror produces virtual image or the image produced is virtual, just change the image distance to minus 30 so any value the image distance is so long it is a virtual image or a virtual erect image then the 
image distance is negative. Don't worry, we'll see all that as we go into calculations. And there are times where you'll be asked to look for the number of images produced from mirrors at angle theta. You can have two mirrors placed at different angles. And depending on the angles the two mirrors are placed, a particular number or certain number of images will be formed. And the formula for calculating the number of images produced from mirrors at an angle is N is equals 360 degrees over theta minus 1. If we are told that two mirrors are placed parallel to each other, find the number of images produced. If two mirrors are play, placed parallel to each other, find the number of images produced. For two parallel lines, or if the images are parallel, the angle is either 0 degrees or 180 degrees. This is the angle between parallel mirrors. So if we are using 0 degrees, the number of images produced will be equals 360 degrees over 0 degrees minus 1. So this will simply give you 360 over 0, that's infinity, minus 1, that is infinity. So infinite number of images will be produced for two mirrors that are placed parallel to each other. And if they are placed at 180 degrees, which is also parallel, the number of images produced will be 360 degrees over 180 degrees. That is 2 minus 1 equals 1. So, for two mirrors placed parallel to each other, the observer will see one clear image. That is if we are using 180 degrees or infinite set of images. That is basically how to play around with this. And there is something else you to take note of. If a mirror is located, uh, rotated at an angle theta, let's say theta, the reflected ray will be reflected, will be rotated two times that angle. Let's say if a mirror is rotated at 20 degrees, the reflected ray will be reflected at 2 times 20, that is 40 degrees. If a mirror is rotated at an angle, the reflected ray will be rotated at twice that angle. And the new incidence or reflected ray will be the incident ray plus the new angle it is rotated. All this will start to make sense very, very soon. In fact, I am not going to answer this question until the next episode. In the next episode, we shall be looking at questions under mirrors and magnification, number of images produced. For now, know that the mirror formula is 1 over f is equals 1 over u plus 1 over v. And know that magnification is image distance over object distance. It is the same thing as image height over object height. And know that for virtual or erect images, the image distance is negative. A number of images produced from mirrors at an angle or at angle theta is 360 degrees over the angle minus 1. So let's see in the next episode. And we'll be using the Flash Learners app to play with questions. So after this class, install and activate the Flash Learners application because that's what you shall be needing for the next class. Take care of yourself and don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Subscription is free. Is free. You are not paying to subscribe. And you subscribe so that when new videos are released, you get notifications. And feel free to check out the playlist to see a bunch of other videos released. Take care of yourself.